Hey, hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. Uh, this is going to be a love reading for my dearest Cancers where we take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. Now, if these messages resonate with you, I am gonna ask that you guys go ahead and smash that like button for me. It does amazing things for this video and also for my channel. And I also just wanna thank you guys, each and every one of you for all your love and support. It means so much to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's go ahead and see what messages come through for you clear messages and guidance please for my dearest cancers clear messages and guidance please for my cancers regarding the person most on their mind or their love life at this time King of Wands. Ooh, some of you guys could have fire in your chart, or maybe you're dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag. Um, this person could be like a CEO, an entrepreneur, somebody who's just, you know, may, I get that they're maybe a little bit flashy. Um, like they've got, they've got wealth. They've got financial stability. They're quite powerful, very attractive. All right, what they're thinking or feeling, Page of Pentacles. They're not really taking action towards you at this time. Um... They're not communicating, all right? They're viewing you as the star card, Aquarius, energy in reverse. So I'm wondering here, Cancer, if this person, if there's a little bit of mirroring going on, if they feel like you might be ignoring them, um, and if there's been some sort of fight or argument that like you need some more time to heal, um, they might be really unsure about a future here. All right, what you don't see coming, the Six of Cups. Oh, somebody's going to be getting flowers. Not all of you, though. <laughs> but this is soulmate energy, maybe reconciliation. So some of my Cancers, you guys have had a fight or an argument or you're in separation from this person. Final outcome energy, the King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, overall energy, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Wow, so this is interesting. We have the Page, the Knight, and the King of Pentacles all in reverse. So I feel like things have come to a standstill, you guys. Um, I feel like this person is either not taking action or not communicating. You guys could really be mirroring each other. But this person, they have these really, really sweet feelings. Um, but you know, it kind of sucks because I'm not so sure they're gonna take action on it. Your person may be very business focused at this time, but... All right, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. It just feels like things have come to a halt. This person may have kept you waiting. Maybe they're waiting for you, Cancer. So let's just, let's dig into this. There's a lot of people here involved, right? We've got two kings, a knight, a page. Um, it could also be what you don't see is that somebody, you might have a secret admirer or somebody developing really sweet feelings for you. So if you're stuck on somebody who's like all about business or work, and they're not really, and they keep you waiting all the time, Cancer. There might be somebody else that's sort of crushing on you that has these sweet feelings. But let's see. King of Wands. Why is this here for my Cancers? This could be your energy as well. Nine of Wands. Feeling exhausted. Somebody here has trust issues, Cancer. It could be you. could be your person. Um, but I also feel that your person may be working like really, really hard. I don't know if they have a side hustle, if they have their own business, if they're the CEO, they're an entrepreneur, but they're definitely feeling exhausted. They're like in the process of trying to manifest something. Now, of course, this could be you guys, right? Maybe you guys don't have a whole lot of time and energy for romance at this time. If you guys are like just you're working towards some sort of goal. Yeah, look what just came out. Eight of Pentacles, somebody's working really, really hard, maybe studying, maybe even having like a side hustle. So Cancer, I feel like this relationship is really affected by that. Like somebody might not be ready for the responsibility or have like the emotional bandwidth for a relationship at this time. Um, it might seem a little bit exhausting if they're being pulled in a whole bunch of different directions. Um, maybe they're taking care of family. Maybe they're just, you know, they're running their business or maybe, you know, working a couple of different jobs. So your person with the page of pentacles is very hesitant to sort of reach out or to take action. Um, you may be, you may be a little bit mad at this person with the star card in reverse. Like they might think they might have said or done something that they know you didn't like. And maybe you asked for some time to heal or to process. Yeah, the Hierophant Taurus energy. Some of you guys, I'm getting that this person just isn't ready for a higher level of commitment because they're I just they're working too much. 
This person may also get a lot of attention, okay? But I feel like this person isn't ready to give anybody anything serious at this time. This person can also, yeah, I, I feel like this person doesn't have the emotional bandwidth cancer for a relationship. You know, I'm really sorry about that. But I feel like also this person has been really hurt by either this breakup or separation or maybe in the past a divorce or a connection that didn't work out. I just feel your person is emotionally and physically exhausted by everything that they're sort of doing and they're not putting any sort of precedence on love and relationships. So they're viewing you as the star card. I think they're really unsure about the future. Wow, double star card in reverse. Yeah, some of you, they don't see a way forward here or they're not sure that, you know, you guys will... Because I don't know if they said something to you about needing a pause or a break, or maybe they just don't. I feel like this person takes forever to respond to your messages. Um, let's see. And the Queen of Cups, yeah. But they also see that you guys could be a beautiful match. They see you in your power, Cancer, that you're loving, you're caring, you're compassionate, um, you're giving. You know, that you do a lot to sort of make them happy, to make them feel safe. But I just, you know, unfortunately, I just feel like this person doesn't have it in them right now. And we see that, you know, we see divine counterparts. And I'm seeing you as the divine feminine cancer. Whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. And the king of cups in reverse is like your divine masculine is not ready for commitment or cannot offer stability, emotional stability, security at this time. Because their, their focus is elsewhere. Um, what you don't see coming, though, is the Six of Cups. So I kind of feel this could be another person. But let's see. King of Wands in reverse. Okay. And we see the Four of Wands. Okay. Interesting. And the Ace of Swords. Hmm. So what I'm seeing here, Cancer, there's a couple of things, and I am just keep going back to the double star card in reverse. Some of you, Cancer, your person thinks you've given up on them or you've given up hope or faith that things will ever work out. And like I said, right now, they're definitely not available. Okay, this person doesn't have the emotional bandwidth for a relationship. But I kind of feel like your person, this King of Wands energy, um, they're... <laughs> It's like they're not ready for commitment right now, but it's like they're working towards a future. So it could be your person feels like they need to have more in the bank or they need to buy that house or they need to finish school or whatever before they can really be in a higher level of commitment. That's what I'm seeing. This is actually the same person. They have really sweet feelings for you. And I'm also getting that they may, it's like, they, it's like they're playing this long game, Cancer. Like they can't offer you anything right now, King of Wands, but they see this reunion and like getting married and engaged down the line. But they're a little bit worried that you'll give up hope or faith before they get there. Okay, and the Ace of Swords, there's something here that they haven't told you. The Ace of Swords can also be a delay, like this connection was delayed for a while. King of Wands in reverse. I don't feel that your person's a player, even though there are a lot of people here involved, okay? So again, use your intuition. Um, but I feel like your person either takes care of a lot of people, like family. If they're that king of wands, like I said, they might be a little bit flashy. They might have, you know, they might have a lot of cash. They might have financial security. So it's like, I don't know if they pay child support somewhere. I don't know if they're helping their family, like maybe their their family doesn't have a whole lot of money or something like parents and siblings and things like that, or if they run a business. I just, I do get this like weirdly generous energy off of your person. And I know it's kind of hard to see because the cards don't really say that, but it's almost like this person, they, they're not expecting you to wait for them cancer, but they sure would like you to. But I don't think they're ever going to say that, okay? And with the Ace of Swords, I feel like this person may have difficulties expressing their true wants or desires. They know that also what they've got to do right now maybe is not going to be okay with you. Why is this King of Pentacles in reverse? 
final outcome advice, the King of Pentacles, it may be that this person just can't offer you the security and stability that you're looking for. I just feel like they can't put the effort in right now, Cancer, but I feel like it's legitimate, legitimate, okay? Like, I feel like it's not because they're in player mode. I feel like it's because they're working hard or they've got these other responsibilities and they're more focused on like a long game. King of, look at all these repeating cards. Oh my goodness, double King of Pentacles. You guys could be mirroring each other as well is what I'm seeing. And the Three of Swords, heartache, disappointment, loss. For some of my Cancers, it's just not good enough. Yeah. You know, I feel like this is a really powerful connection but I also get that there's this energy of stalemate that you guys are very, very similar and you guys have a lot of love for each other, but your person can't focus on this connection or doesn't have what it takes right now to put in the effort to make things better, to make things right, to give you the security and stability that you need. Some of you guys are, some of you guys, like I, this could be like a twin flame connection or a deep soulmate connection, but they're just not ready and they're not taking action. And what I was getting off of that Ace of Swords energy in reverse, this connection very well could be blocked for a reason. You know, sometimes there's progress and pause. And I feel like you do have some healing to do. I think there's love here. I do. But I, I feel like it's a, it's a case of the right person, the wrong time, Cancer. All right, let's see. Some of you... Um, some of you, I feel like you're not sure what to believe because you felt this really strong connection. It's here. It's a soulmate. It's a twin flame. But some of you guys are doubting doubting that because like things aren't moving along. Um, there's heartache here. There's heartache. But I feel like, again, you guys mirror each other. And I feel like if, if your person's not going to put in the effort, then you've gone cold or you've gone quiet. And it's leading to a stalemate. And there's a lack of commitment here. And it's not because there's not love. Really strong Taurus energy. Really strong Aquarius energy. Aries, Scorpio. But, I mean, we have everything. Some of you, you may have a family with this person. Try again. Yeah, I, I get that. It's this weird energy. Like, it's like this person doesn't have time right now, okay? Or they or they just can't do this right now. But they like, but it's like in their heart of hearts, like they feel like it's gonna happen somewhere down the line, and I feel like that's just not good enough for you guys. All right. This person, they've definitely kept photos of you. They may look at those photos. I just feel this person, they, they're not reaching out. They're not taking any action, but they sort of live in that nostalgia and these memories now or never. Yeah, this is what I'm feeling, Cancer. I feel like this is your energy. You know, like you're, it, you've kind of been like, all right, if they don't reach out, then you know what? I'm walking away. I'm calling it. And you're heartbroken. I feel like both of you are heartbroken, but this person just isn't taking action. And we get acting cold. Yep, did I not say that? I, f I said you guys might be acting cold. This person might be acting cold. I'm getting that you guys are mirroring each other. I feel like you've given up hope or faith that things will work out or that you'll get a second chance here. Hmm. Special to me. You're very special to this person, Cancer. You're very special to this person, but they are stuck or they've got to do something else right now. And, and I don't think that's good enough, okay? I don't, I don't think it's good enough. And I feel like that's heartbreaking. I mean, it feels heartbreaking. It feels heartbreaking because I feel like there's so, this is such, such a strong connection. And for some of you, it's your twin flame, but it's like, there's this, nobody's taking action or your person just can't give you what you need. Um, and, and as much as it pains you, it's like, I've got to look elsewhere. Although I don't think you are really looking elsewhere yet. I'm becoming a better person. Yep. That's your person's trying to improve. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Yeah, you wouldn't know that, would you? You wouldn't know that, would you? Because they were acting cold or distant or they never told you how they felt. But they definitely look at your photos. They definitely fantasize about you. They definitely reminisce. They definitely, I feel like this person fantasizes about a life with you. But they don't take any action. I trusted you. 
yeah, this person I think trusted you more than anybody and I bury myself in work to forget you. And they may use work as an excuse if they've got issues with um, commitment and I do love you. So despite everything, Cancer, this is heartbreaking for me. This, like, I'm feeling it. Like, I feel like I could cry because this person loves you, but they can't come towards you. I don't know if they've got some healing to do. I don't know if it's their past. I don't know if it's their childhood. They love you. They trusted you or they do trust you. It's almost like they're not blaming you for giving up hope or faith and moving on because they can't give you anything right now. But why that is, I don't know. I'm not so sure. But it's like almost like I don't know if they caught feelings and it just stopped them dead in their tracks. For some of you, I'm getting this person came from nothing. And so they've like really, they're like doing really well for themselves. And they've got to protect that at all costs. Wow, Cancer. Wow. All right, let's see. Let's see what the ancestors have to say here. This is a powerful reading, you guys. And it's it's to me, it's heartbreaking because it's, you are so special to this person. They love you. They trust you. They can't give you what you need. Not right now. And, you know, no good reader is going to recommend that you put your life on hold. Twin flame or not, this person can't give you that safety, that security, and that stability right now. And if they're not coming in to put in the work, I feel like my cancers, knowing Cancerian energy, you guys probably have put in a lot of work. And I don't think you can anymore with that star card in reverse. And a lot of you, you're feeling sort of helpless and hopeless here in this situation. And I don't blame you. Begin writing now. So Spirit's telling you it's important that you write down your fears. You write down your emotions. If this person didn't give you closure because that Ace of Swords was in reverse, maybe they ghosted or there wasn't any closure here, it's important that you write that out. You give yourself closure. You know, you might want to flush it down the toilet. You might want to burn it or, you know, like I said, journaling could be really important right now. All right. Um, shine brightly. So stand out, be proud, and individuality. So the star card tells me that this situation has definitely dimmed your light. It's showing up in reverse. And it's time to get that back, Cancer. Start doing the things that you love. Just, you know, whether it's exercising, spending time in nature, going out with friends, family, you know, putting makeup on if you wear makeup and a nice pair of high heels, you know, um, if, if you wear high heels. If not, you know, like looking your best, trying to feel your best, um... Some of you guys, you're going to be changing your hair color, getting a haircut. Um, the energy is shifting here for you. All right. And we get go after your goals. Yep. Don't stop. Some of my cancers, you mirror this person. You may also be up leveling financially. You might also be working really hard. And spirit saying another card open to love. Yeah. Be open to love and be open to... You know, I know this person, this situation has been heartbreaking cancer, but I also feel there it's very possible that you have somebody here that's falling in love with you and you may not even know it. It may not be this person. Okay. And it like, it really breaks my heart here, you guys, because I see this three of swords. I feel it. Um, but I, I feel like spirit saying you can't put any more time and effort into this connection. Some of you guys, you've written them letters, messages. They haven't responded as hard as it may be. It's time to sort of let them go and open yourself up to like another type of love or just to, um, to somebody else. I know that's hard. I know it's really hard because this to me feels like it's a twin flame or a deep soulmate contract, but Spirit saying it's time. Judgment card in reverse. There's divine intervention. There's redirection. This person, I don't know, just it wasn't moving in a direction that was going to be positive for you is what I'm getting. But make no mistake, there's love here. There's <laughs> there's love here, and that's what's the hardest part. Um, wallflower. Look for the crack in the concrete to find your way out. Yeah, some of my cancers, you guys have been in quite a dark place with the star card in reverse doing a lot of healing work, shadow work. You are finding a way out. Grow. So all flowers must grow through dirt. Yeah. Wow, the imagery here, you guys. I don't know what you've been through, but you guys have been hurting. But Spirit's saying there's something on the other side of this. There really is. And we get beginnings. Yeah, don't be afraid to start small. I think you've got a new beginning in love coming in, Cancer. After a period of retreat, never underestimate the healing power of a quiet moment. I think a lot of you guys, this pause has been very healing for you. Um, I feel like with the star card, a lot of you guys have given up hope on love or even on this, you know, on this person, but also love in general. Um, and spirit wants you to shine bright. Okay, shine bright. 
And yes, I'm hearing Rihanna diamonds, you know, but shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> um, but you know, I'm hearing that because you have so much to offer. And I feel like this has been a very difficult situation for you. But I like this because look for the crack in the concrete to find your way out. All flowers must grow through dirt. So it's like there's something blooming. There's something blossoming here for you guys, Cancer. Trust and believe it, okay? And look at that. Look at how beautiful these li these lilies are. All right, so I'm going to leave it here, you guys. Um, sending you lots of love and light. Take care.